welcome back to my channel and if you are new then a big huge welcome to you. My name is Sez and I am an autistic and epileptic creator and I upload videos every Wednesday and Friday. Today is a very special video because I'm going to be doing a very special book review and the reason why I wanted to do this was because that I found this book through the National Autistic Society and it was through them that I decided to make this review. About a month ago I received a magazine from the National Autistic Society covering all the latest news updates and stories focusing on autism and one of the main things I found in the magazine was a very special interview featuring one of the UK's greatest authors of all time and that of course is Michael Morpogo and if you don't know who Michael Morpogo is then I'll give you a bit of a hint. If you think of the two words, war horse, that was him. He originally wrote the book of War Horse. And since then, he has created wonderful stories like Private Peaceful and Running Wild. But I'm not going to be talking about those today. But instead, I'm going to be talking about his latest novel that he has published. And this novel is called Flamingo Boy. Flamingo Boy takes place during the Second World War in the Crumarg, which is located in the south of France. And it tells the story of two children named Chiesa and Lorenzo. Lorenzo is on the autistic spectrum and one of the things that he really loves to do in his spare time is to heal sick animals and to bring joy and comfort into those who have been hurt or emotionally distressed. Well Chiesa is a traveling gypsy who owns a carousel with her family and every year they travel up and down the country just to bring a lot of joy to children children. But when the Nazis come into the Krumag, it seems like Chiesa and Lorenzo's hope of freedom and dreams are lost forever. But little did they know that miracles were waiting to happen just right before them. There are a million things that I could say about Flamingo Boy because this is the first book that I have read for a very long time that I could hardly put down. Honestly, I just love the descriptions, the meanings, the descriptions describings everything. And in my mind, every time I read each chapter, I always thought about giving this book a name to describe it all. And in the end, I came up with the majesty of narrative description. In all honesty, Michael Morpogo has written the most beautiful words in each of his stories. But the reason why Flamingo Boy takes the crown is because that through the beautiful language, I was hooked instantly. I couldn't really set my eyes off each sentence and each word. To me, it, it just felt like looking into a mirror, appreciating the beauty from within. There's a lot of action within this book, but also whilst I was reading some of the parts of the story, I couldn't help myself feeling anger, frustration, tension and sadness. And there were certain parts where I actually cried whilst reading. But as I was reading Flamingo Boy, I had to remember that the Second World War was a time full of tension, sorrow and sadness. And as I read every single sentence, I felt like I was really there. And some of the parts you get to hear about or read about in newspaper articles and class, they actually don't tell you the actual full depth through other people's eyes, whether they're real or not. And in this case, for me, I felt like by learning through the words from characters, it made me realise that how much the war had a lot of impact on so many people who had to endure the pain and sorrow along the way, whether it's on the battlefield or within their own home. I would love to tell you more about it, but sadly there isn't anything else to say and I think I've covered everything. So with that, I'm going to be drawing this video to a close. I really, really hope you enjoyed this review and I hoped it gave you a little bit of an insight to the whole story itself. And a huge thank you to Michael for creating creating such a wonderful book. I really, really enjoyed reading it and I hope to read some fantastic books very, very soon. So until then, I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are in the world and as always, keep on dreaming and never stop believing. 
I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.